you cannot blame Islam. Yes. Of course, some people are not, for example, ISIS. When ISIS went to Iraq, they mistreat the Christians. They mistreat many people. But you cannot utilize ISIS actions to judge Islam. Every Muslim here, inshallah ta'ala, we are here to defend Islam and to defend Muslims who deserve to be defended. As for those who are doing evil deeds, we don't, we don't defend them, you understand? So now we ask what happened to Christians, yes, yes. some of them have been mistreated, correct? Some of them. Yeah, without any doubt. Likewise, a lot of Muslims have been mistreated in Africa, yeah. which is a uh, Christian country, some of them. My point here, I want to go back to, sorry to cut you, are you Christian? It's not important. It is. I am a human being like you. Okay, what is the criteria? You are it doesn't YouTube? matter. Are you allowed to finish? No, but that doesn't matter. What, why are you, why you taking me as an individual? I'll tell you why. I am I'll talking about a general. You ask good question. You ask good question. said, why are you take, asking me about what is my belief? Yes. Because in order for us to know what background you're coming from to judge Islam, we have I to know... I am not judging Islam. You I'm are telling, judging. I am telling you, I am telling you the bottom line is the Christians have to leave. Well, they, they don't have to leave. There's a Christian in Egypt. Too. There is a Jewish people in the Muslim too. Yeah, but, the Muslims but have to leave. There's more Muslims left Syria than uh, Yeah, there's more Muslims. Okay. But I can ask you, what, why? Five you, million left. Now, the reason I ask you, yeah. what is your belief? Because any person, like liberal, liberal, uh, a Christian, atheist, every individual who has something good in him or something he believes, he's utilizing to determine what is right or what is wrong. For example, as a Muslim, when I say what is right or what is wrong, I'm coming from an Islamic point of view. But what point of view are you coming from? What is the criteria? So I'm only worried about the people who are living there. You know, how come you not worry about the Muslims living there as well? There we go. Huh? But, they, but they are not forced to leave. They are forced to leave. Why? How many Muslims left Syria? Why? I'm, I'm asking you, how many? Why? Because, because of the war. You know why? Because, because of the war. Because there was a dictator there who killed his people. And this dictator shouldn't be there to start with. Because the, the, people, the people should have risen against the dictator and got rid of him. Not now, 40 years ago. But 40 years he was stronger as well. His father was stronger. The people are so strong. The people are stronger. 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 But you know, why are you, are you, forget about politics, are you Christian by the way? What difference is if you keep because, asking because, the same question? I tell you why, because when you die, God is not going to ask about Iraq. He's going to ask about Algeria. Go you ask about yourself. Me and God will talk afterwards. So why are you scared I, I, I to talk about your religion? To you. I don't need to reply are you to you. Hiding? Are you hiding? I, I have nothing to hide. Yes. Why? Do you know why? I have something to hide. I will not Do you know why? Because, because if you're Christian, you'll be drowning in your own sweat. I'm not drowning. You'll be. You'll be. You, you, because because you I'll, tell you you I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because I'm surrounded by people like you. No, I shouldn't be drowning. This is speaker's corner. Anywhere. Anywhere I should be free. Not in speaker's corner. But they have a... What is he talking about? I said you're drowning in your own sweat. Mean you'll be drowning in your own sweat. Why? Because in the Bible, Christian or, 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 or the Old Testament, you're allowed to kill. Who of the Bible and the Old Testament? Don't talk to me about the past. No, not the past. Even today. Even today. Even today. The Zionists and those terrorists yes. they are utilizing the Bible to kill the Palestinians. Yes, today. Yes. What, what do you say about that? What do you think about that? Yeah. Are you are you worried about the Palestinians? Is the, are they worried about themselves? No, you, you worry about are them. Are they worried about themselves? They worry about themselves. Are you worried about, worried about them? They are. They are killing themselves each you other. You see now he's just fighting. No. Likewise, the Christians are killing themselves each other as well. You are right. You honest, you are right. You see, be, be you, honest, man. You, you, look, look, you Islam. Stand for you that you are Islam, right. Islam, because, look, look. Because, here we are to show you, you Islam. Saying, you are saying, speak and get falsehood regardless of doing it. Muslim so, or not Muslim. So the Zionists, if they want to kill, if they want to finish Gaza, they can't finish Gaza. They can't what? If they want to finish that Gaza, they can't. They can't because Allah is with them, inshallah. Ah, now we yeah. know who he is. You see? <laughs> you are just they expose can't. yourself, my friend. Yeah. Do what you do because you worried about the Christians, and all of a sudden you start to follow singing with the Israeli. They can wipe them off if they want. Yeah, no, you see, but you see, he's in he's their own country, they, they can be wiped out. Hey, and you worried about the Christian who left he because is which is it goes against them. Is the Christian who left Syria he goes against them because they left for the colonial He is saying, he is saying, why Islam forbid oppression? But you just worry about. Is, uh, certain people to be oppressed. Yeah. What about the rest of the people? I that am. shows you the, ju the justice of Islam. Yeah, yeah. Subhanallah. You are right. You're left as well. Okay. I'm right, you're left. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. You see, how, uh, the point here, when I, when I came, the brother told me, he, this person, he was, he was, sticking, on he was sticking on the other brother. And the brother, he didn't have ilm. Naam. But Alhamdulillah, the brother knew, he said, I shouldn't speak to him. I'm not a scholar, by the way. But Alhamdulillah, I had a little ilm to refute him. 
when I'm refuting him, he didn't like it now. And the, 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 what the Christians, missionaries, and Islamic haters always ask us about Bani Quraida. So the question we ask them, are you asking about Bani Quraida and you care about them because they were killed or because they were Jewish people? Because we know in the Old Testament, the Jewish people they were allowed to kill the Malachites, who are the Arabs. They were, they were allowed to kill their children, their babies, infants, everything. So how come we don't go to the Jewish people ask them, why did you kill children and babies? They tell you, no, it's happened in the past. Bani Quraida happened in the past too. Bani Quraida is not happening today. And Bani Quraida, they tried to kill the Messenger of Allah وسلم, and they waged a war and guessed him. And Prophet killed those who deserve to be killed. As for the children, women, babies, he let them go. He didn't let them go free. They took them as a war captives, but they took care of them because Islamically, you have to take care of the war captive just the way you take care of your own self. Naam. But that's, that, that shows you what the hypocrisy of these Christian missionaries. They always been the Quraida, been the Quraida. What about the Malachites in the Old Testament? I, they, they, no, the Arab, we don't care. Let them be killed. Let the babies be killed. But we, we need a way to expose the lies. Barakallahu feekum.